continuing the journey of playing only marines and medivacs to grandmaster what's up everybody mana here episode number five i believe that is currently and we had a lot of uh, turn versus zerk and a lot of success with turn versus zerk recently i've been improving quite a lot with the turn however however i had like a two and a half week break or so from playing this challenge and I kind of forgot about the things that I was already doing here. Uh, I was busy playing tournaments, busy recording other videos and so on. So, yeah, I kind of need to get uh, back on, on the track of playing well with Terran. My first opponent is going to be indeed a Zerg player, so that should be uh, good for me to kind of get a grasp of how to play Terran yet again. Let's see what, uh, what we can do. So far, a lot of success came from uh, just doing like a lot of expansions, like trying to gather a lot of map control. Uh, through the expansions like planetary fortresses and so on and then just trying to trade the zerg armies uh, as much as possible once i had a lot of my um production facilities set up like eight to ten barracks and so on and i had a lot of success with that and the games felt very in my favor so let's see if we can continue that in here i didn't have a single zerg player who who, who were uh, like cheesing or all inning me with like banings bass roach uh, uh, attacks or or anything so I have yet to kind of see how greedy I can really be uh, in order to not die and uh, yeah basically I just test out my greed right because if I'm being greedy like if, if, if I play the build order I don't know if this is a tight build order I don't know if I'm like capable of, of, of dying to a certain attack or not so it feels kind of kind of weird not knowing that but I guess eventually we will be hitting some zergs who are going to be aggressive and then we'll see how this is going to go. So far, Macro has been working absolutely fantastic for me. Yeah, let's get this Overlord. Let's get it. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not enough DPS here. Uh, we can get it to half HP at least, which is nice. Let's get a second Barracks here. Let's get it. I kind of want to see if I can also do like a very quick time with the Marines as well. Um, with like Combat Shield and Stim. And see how I can, how well I can trade with that. I think in order to do that, I also need a very fast engineering bay. This is, we should be in the main base. Because playing every single game to just uh, get this like a four, four or five bases set up, I think it might not be that great. I want to see if there's a, a possibility for me to finish the games a little bit earlier. Especially versus Zerg. Let's see if we can find a, a good time with plus one combat shield and stem. Let's see how well we can actually trade with the Marines. Oh, 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 oh! That's the first attack that I have of a Zerg player, super early on. Okay, come on, get it! Ah, we lost one Marine, but it's okay. It's okay, okay. Really not bad. We got uh, rid of the old Zerglings? No, one survives. Get that plus one. Let's get a second tech clap. Okay. I need to uh, make sure that I'm not getting supply block. And that they have a consistent... Uh, Marine production because if you're going for a counter uh, for for like a timing attack, it's very important to get as many units as possible, right? <laughs> Since you're attacking anyway, you might as well try to focus on uh, creating as many units as possible. That's what how a timing attack actually works. Let's get a combat shield. Oh. <coughs> Jesus Christ! <coughs> I'm going to die. Oh, it's the Zerg infestation. <coughs> Sorry about that. The Zerg got me. Um, I think it's going to line up very well with Stim, Combat Shield and plus one. Let's start making a wall of here. The thing that worries me a little bit is that this Zerg already spotted what I'm doing. Or, yeah, I guess he kind of spotted what I'm doing because he went up uh, the ramp of the Zerglings and he saw additional barracks. So he, he can expect that I will not have Hellions or Medivacs anytime soon. Let's see. Oh, I'm supply... Wait. <gasps> I can drop the supply depot? Okay, wait, I'm making a supply depot here, that's, that's fine. I should have probably made a third command center in the wall of though. Okay, should I be walking out? Or is it too dangerous? I think it's okay to walk out. The thing is he has an overlord here, so he's going to be seeing this move out. But let's see how well this is going to go. Uh, let's get a second gas right now in the natural. Let's... Oh, we can get it, we can get him. Can we get him? Come on! Okay, well, I'm wasting a lot of time here. He's gonna see this move out, so he's gonna start making units. That's not the smartest move I've done, that's for sure. All right, let, let's see how well we can we can do here. I think I need to. Uh oh, he's counterattacking me now with this one Zerg that survived the other day. Okay, let's go. Five minute stem combat shield timing. Is this a good timing or not? Maybe we can at least clear some creep if I get some scans going. I need more supply depots. Plus one finish. That's fantastic. Good timing. 
Okay, let's see how much we can do here. Micro. Micro time. Well, that was terrible. <laughs> oh, I could have microed that so much better. I think there was a lot of potential with these marines. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I lost the track of my cursor during that fight. It's not an excuse. I mean, it is an excuse. But I, li I literally lost the track of the cursor, so I didn't get to target fire the, the bainings properly. Okay, let's get some... Let's get some reactors here. Oh, I'm not mining with the gas in the natural. Can I go out again with these? Let's get a fourth started already since I'm going to be landing the third zone. I think I have enough marines here and let's get more barracks now. Lots of barracks. I wouldn't mind getting rid of these tech labs because they're going to be useless. This is the only time they can attack a little bit with these marines to try to clear the creep. Maybe we can get a cancel on the fourth? That would be really nice. Can I get a queen? Nice. Okay, let's get a cancel on the fourth then. I don't want to walk up the ramp too much. Okay, this is nice. Okay, we got something done. Let's start, let's get this. We need more gases for upgrades and armory and medivacs. I'm very late on my gases, actually. I'm surprised how much gas I need. My, even though I'm making only marines, the add-ons and the upgrades really really cost a lot of gas, so... I need to be careful about that in the later stages uh, of, the, of the challenge. Okay, we're making more marines now. Let's uh, transfer this to our reactor. We can make one more reactor here. This guy can transfer here, make a reactor, and then one more reactor from this barracks. Get one more gas, create more SCVs. Okay, these guys can go back to the gas again. I, I don't think I need five gases, right? I think it's a bit too much. But to be honest, right now I am lacking gas, so let's get that fourth base. Let's try to get the watchtowers as well with these marines. Okay. And now what do we do? What's the next step? I need to start to 2. Okay, wait. It's at my third base, but it's okay. What are his upgrades? He has a 0 0. And I have already 1 1 done, which is really nice for me. We also delayed his fourth base by a lot. I think I'm in a very good position once all the reactors are going to finish. Okay, let's get this guy. Made back here. Um, where are my Marines? There they are. Okay. Now I have one Medivac. That's not a lot. I should probably wait for 2. I should probably get a second star part now, to be honest. No, 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 no second star. Let's get a 2-2. Two, two. I need to start 2-2. Two, two. I need to start 2-2. Two, two. Let's get the gas going. I, I need to make some supply depots as well. This, this, this. Okay, armor upgrade. Okay, now it's all set up. Let's just create more units and start try, try to start trading with these marines. That's what I'm going to be trying to do. While keeping the consistent production. Okay, there's the fourth base. I don't see his army. Oh, oh. Okay, come on, defend. No! Two paintings! Oh my god, I wasn't watching. I wasn't watching. That was a good run, but he was waiting for me to move out. But it's okay, I have good upgrades. Wait, why is this not another reactor? What the hell? I didn't lose too many SCVs, that's okay. Oh, I lost the Marines again. I need to learn how to pay attention to the Marines better. But it's okay, I have a very good setup ready. Uh, let's get that planetary fortress here. Get some SCVs. Now I can at least start attacking with the medivacs as well. We saw that he didn't have that many drones there. If he doesn't have this base, I think I'm in a very good position when it comes to the economy. I should have probably saved a scan for creep. Okay, not, no fourth base here, so we can go up. That was a very expensive bending run by Vorhem. Can I do something here? Target fire. Back. Okay. That's very good. A bit more supply depots. Come on, get a supply depot. I need to work on that a bit. Oh, I lost all the marines to the bayonets. I wasn't paying attention again. It's okay, I have another army here. Just Terran things. I love this about Terran gameplay, actually, because you can lose your entire army. There's another army actually waiting for you uh, at home. Pretty much the same army. With Protoss, it's a bit different. You, you're not allowed to lose your army. Okay. We have no more scans here. I have 2-2? Two, two? No, I don't have 2-2 two, two yet. And clear some of this. Let's see if there are any banings. Okay, there's one baning. One. Oh, that's too many. Not deal with that. Okay, we'll go back. I'll wait for 2 2 right now to finish. It's gonna make it a bit better. And then I'm gonna drop two Marines, uh, two Medivacs to the south, and then attack at the front at the same time. I think that's the only way that I can find my uh, Marines to fight 
cost efficiently. Let's get another set of bases. I can get this one as well, uh, the left side. Okay, I have a lot of marines here. Let's go attack the front and attack the back here with the drop at the same time. I need to save some scans. I have free free started. I have free free started. That's nice. Uh, I should probably get a couple more barracks. Get this. Okay, now clear the creep. He's gonna respond to this attack and then drop here. Let's go. Oh, that's a lot of banelings. That's a lot of banelings, but that's okay. I'm gonna lose these marines. It's all about killing the drones here. Okay, that's really nice. We cleaned up a lot of his economy. Let's trade some banelings. That's fine. That's fine if you lose the banelings here for these marines. That's okay. I can replenish so many of my marines. Wait, he has a base here on the right side as well. That means that we need to go there soon. Okay, for free is halfway done. I have one more barracks here. One more barracks. Okay, get it. Supply depots. Let's get a couple more. Command centers are going to finish. Okay, let's gather the entire army now. Since he traded a lot of his banings and we killed a lot of drones, he has to remake that army. So uh, I will try to attack with a big uh, attack at the fifth base, trying to kill it uh, while pre spreading my marines. To make sure that I don't get a big connection uh, on the banings. Let's try that. We need to attack from the top side then, because if we go here, it's very easy for the Zerg to react uh, to this uh, to this move. Let's get the reactors here. Get to this base, we need to start a planetary here. Start it. Okay. We drop the mules wrongly in the uh, middle. Okay, let's go. Now press split the marines a bit. Try to kill the base. <coughs> I had to sneeze right there. Bless me. Okay, that was a free kill, pretty much. What's his army? Oh, he has ultras. <laughs> we love ultralisks. Okay, then. God damn it. Uh, we know how ultras are difficult to kill with marines. Let's get him uh, here. Let's attack the main base. And we have to... We have to get another... Uh, another star for more medivacs, acts, I think. Let's attack the front. And drop at the same time. Go one medivac here, one medivac here. Clear the creep, kill the base. A little bit of multitasking here. Scan. Okay, that's not a lot. Oh, that's a lot of... Ultra. Go back. Back, 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 back. Okay, that's a big drop. Kill the ultra cavern. It's upgrading. Kill it, kill it, kill it. No more ultras for you. Okay, that's very good. That's very good. This ultra is doing God's work, though. He already has the upgrade, though, for the ultras. Can we kill the hive so he cannot reproduce? Uh, not, not enough time. He's fighting the choke point. Pull back. It's okay. We have another army waiting. Okay, we're looking good. Uh, I need to transfer some SCVs from the natural. Oh, I lost the entire army here. Okay, let's get these marines. I have so many medivacs now, actually. I don't think I need a second star pod, but so be it. In case I... Oh, no, 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 back, 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 back. Split. Okay, he's using a lot of banings here. We can micro a bit. We have free free. He doesn't have free free on these ultras yet. Go back to the planetary. Go back to the planetary. Let's just F2 a bit. We need to bring back the Medivax, uh, Medivax home. Repair. Repair the, me repair the planetary! Nope. Oh my god. Am I going to lose this? No way. No, 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 I'm not losing this. No way I'm losing this. So many ultras, I cannot deal with that. So many ultras are low though. I need to gather the forces. Okay, go back to the planetary. Okay, go here. It's okay, we're gonna lose some bases. Okay, kill these ultras. Oh, oh I shouldn't have lost the orbital there. Just reveal. The ultras are coming. Pick up. Raise the depots. He cannot go here. He cannot go up here. Okay, we lost a lot there. Remember, I killed the ultra cavern, which is nice. Okay. He has full upgraded ultras now, though. Can I fight this? I don't think I can fight this. I lost so much, though. I lost so much. I, I need to be uh, doing a better job at microing my marines. He killed so many expansions, but it's okay. He's making more banings. Let's clear them. Okay. Micro. 
Okay. That's gonna take a while to kill these ultras. We gotta try the oh my god, the spaz damage. Okay, we got it. <sighs> oh shit. So, ultra is flank. That's so many ultras. Holy crap. I think I'm dead. I think we're dead. I need to counterattack. There's no way I can say I can kill this with this amount of marines, so we have to we have to counterattack. Uh, let's save some, some medivacs here at home. I cannot allow him to kill this planetary though. Okay, he's going to my main base. Wait, I have a wall down. Put it back. Okay, go here, counterattack. Okay, we kill the ultra. We need to kill this base. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's so many ultras. What the hell? There's so many of them. Okay. Oh, he has base here. He's coming here as well. We go here. Go to the south. You guys go to the main. I don't know. Try. Okay, we, we can save this planetary. It's fine. Right here. Oh, no, no, that's so many spores. Save it! Save it, Ripper! Oh my god, I failed the Ripper. But he has no more bases. But he has so many ultras. I, it's not like I, I have bases. I have literally one command center. I think I need to gather everything together. Okay. We need to kill these, this base somehow, some way. Here. Lift this. Okay. Gather everything together and fight. He doesn't have that much army as well. Micro. Okay, that's good. Okay, we're pulling them apart. I need to heal up those marines though. Okay. Run some, land some mules. Okay, let's go. Land all the marines. He has a lot of ultras. I need, we need to send one medivac to the top. He's running out of money as well. Not with this many bayonet, but it's okay. Target fire the ultras. Okay, got it. Mutas? I guess versus med med medivacs. So many ultras though. Cannot fight this. Cannot fight this. Ultras are so quick now. So many mutas. I think we're dead. Damn it! The ultras are too hard to deal with, man. I'm losing all the marines now. No! Don't kill this! It's a full one! Kill the, kill the mutas. That's too many ultras for me to deal with. Oh my god. What a game, man. Can I do deal better with the ultras somehow, some way? Not sure if there's a there's a trick to it. I thought I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely controlling this game. Maybe he has a gold? Oh no, all the, all the bases are compromised now. The only way I can win right now is base straight. But I cannot base straight. I don't have the medivacs ready. Go here. Does he have a gold? He doesn't have it. He's running out of money himself, but how do I kill these ultras now? Not possible. Not possible. Right, let's grab everything into the into the medivacs and hope for the best. We'll just avoid the ultras as much as possible. That's my only option. I don't see any other way. Oh, he sees this though. He has an overlord here. Inbound. Talk to me. They're so quick. Now what? Go here. I don't know. Just start mining, Make I suppose. An off. Where's the emergency? Oh, he's attacking me. Okay. Well then, base trade. Let's go. I think this is what I want, right? This is all I can do right now. Hope for the best. Okay, we're killing a lot of mutas, that's good. To kill the bases. Go, go kill the hatcheries. Kill the hatcheries. Oh, ultras are here. Ultras and mutas are here, guys. Can I block? Kill the mutas. No! No, no, the last minute back! Oh, it's over, I have 10 supply. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, I have no more marines, man. I, I'm still mining, but... Not enough energy.
I lost all the medivacs. I have two medivacs left. I have two bases. I mean, I have three orbitals. Maybe I can mine something? He's barely mining himself. If I can get this base to mine, maybe there's hope. Okay, well, we need to repair these medivacs though, but I have literally no SCVs. One SCV? Two SCVs, literally. Hello? Okay, he's trying to kill the Marines. Let's counter attack. So there's no way I can save my base here. He's sending the Ultras back. Can I get some Marines out at least? That would be nice. Can I kill this base? No way. Okay, so many Zerglings. So many Zerglings. So many drones as well, alive. And King King. I don't think there's other way. I don't think there's a way. Let's see, he's fighting the worst choke point possible, but there's more mutas coming. GG. Ay, ay, ay. That's 127 supply. That's a cool game. That's a first very cool game of the challenge where I actually lose the game. That's interesting. I need to find a way to deal with the Ultralisks better. I think I need to just micro my Marines a bit better. Maybe I gave my opponent too much time. Maybe there was more timing for that. That was awesome. We lose the game. Minus 58 MMR. And we land into Diamond 2 after the first placement match of the new season. Oh, we have a random player. This could be not a TVZ, finally. I wouldn't mind playing a TVP. I think we literally played like one or two TVPs. Bro. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. If he's actually a Protoss player, that's really nice. That would be fantastic. We had only... Yeah, like I said, like probably two maximum of, of TVPs for the entire challenge so far. So it's about time to fight some Protosses. And I have yet to figure out how to win TVP with Marines only when it comes to like Colossus or or Storm. We'll see how it goes. Especially Colossus, I think. Definitely extremely difficult. But we will figure it out. Definitely. Right. We need to scout what he's doing for sure. Because I cannot make a Reaper. The only point of scouting is going to be my SCV. Could technically send a marine first, but it's like it's slower than the SCV. Probably not the best idea. I think I'm gonna be starting with our reactor first. There's no downside to that. With this challenge, absolutely. And in TVP, I think the best point of scouting, if you want to scout the protoss, is after the barracks is finishing. Because if you scout earlier, you're not going to be seeing much more, or like you're not going to be able to react anyway to what your opponent is doing. But like it's not like your builder should be changing that much, so. I think that's fine. I think that's how it works. So I heard the rumor on the street. Okay, let's follow the probe a little bit. We need to damage it as much as possible. Now, what, what most of the protesters are going to be trying to do to you is try to delay your command center on the low ground with the probe. If they're going to be going there. So you want to send a second SCV there and try to attack the probe. But this guy is not blocking the command center, so it's fine to just make a command center here. He's attacking their reactor. I wonder if he's making a proxy gate or something. It kind of worries me. Why is he attacking this reactor? Let's get a su supply depot. Let's see if he's expanding. Alright. And he's expanding. Okay, uh, normal timing. Looks like nothing out of the ordinary here. Let's see if he has a wall off. He doesn't have a wall off. His celebrant discourse should be finishing shortly. Okay. But no proxy anything. From his side, we can just go back with the SCV. Lots of Chrono Boost out saved out, though. Uh, for, for him. It's a bit worrying, maybe. But we can definitely... Assume that this is a macro macro play. He almost killed the reactor there. Come get it! Get the probe! Okay, and similar to game number one, we're going to be going for a free axe opening with a plus one timing. I think that's the, the best thing that I can really uh, hope for. I should probably have more consistent SCV production though. Because right now I cannot make a disorbital command immediately after it finishes. I'm gonna be kinda short on uh, minerals. Ah, not so much, actually it's okay. I thought it's gonna be unavailable for a bit longer. Let's get these marines. Now let's try to catch the adept that is going to be probably trying to scout me. It could be also a stalker. We don't know, let's start that plus one. Oh, there's a stalker. Right, really nice. That way, it's it's important to keep the 
Marines on the high ground right here because the Stalker is faster and has a longer range than the Marines. So if, you, if he has no vision of the Marines, he cannot attack them. So you kind of want to protect the high ground here as a turn player. Okay. We need one more Tekla for com uh, combat shields. I need to start uh, another supply depot. Okay, now we need consistent uh, uh, marine production. I have to be a bit careful with these marines now. I'm not even protecting myself from an oracle. I think that might be a mistake from my side. Let's protect myself. I should probably make a turret. I wonder if it should be in the main base. Let's make it in the natural. Oh, that's two stalkers. Not very good. I'm also supply block because of that. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't have a bunker, though. I could chase down these stalkers a bit. Let's get a second supply depot. Okay, stim and combat shield is like halfway done. We have a tour just in case it's like DTs or something. Like this, my marines are losing a lot of HP here. If I had a bunker, this would not be happening. A bit of a problem for me. Okay, let's get a factory now. He's really using the stalkers well here. Okay, okay, that's a lot of damage on the stalker as well. Now it's time to move out. If he loses the stalker, it's very bad for him. But I think he's buying time for something greater. Uh, where's my supply depot? Okay, it's finished. Oh, it got delayed by the stalkers. Let's move out to the marines right now. We have Stim and Combat Shield finishing. Plus one is also finishing. Perfect timing. Could be, of course, executed a bit better. These marines are not going to be finding much, much here. He hasn't seen my move out yet. I think he might just die to these marines now, to be honest. I think he might just straight up die. Okay, at least... Let's come. Oh, he has a Colossus though. Okay, so let's cancel the third base. We'll try to jump on the Colossus. Okay, that's really nice. We split the Marines to not get the the damage of the Colossus, but he has a shield battery here, so let's try to back off. Let's get the battery here. Killed, not cancel. He has no blink because he opened up Robo. Okay. That was somewhat successful. We at least reduced the amount of uh, Colossus that he's going to have. I should probably get a second gas a bit faster. And the additional barracks. Yeah, I'm, I'm really late on that. I think I focused maybe too much on the micro. The micro was okay. Like, I got the Colossus, which is really, really nice for me. But in the meantime, I delayed my follow-up attack by quite a lot, right? Like, my barracks are just starting right now. Very, very late. And my gases are also late. So he's gonna have uh, more Colossus for the follow-up attack. Rather than the attack fall, like, should be happening right about now with the Medivax, I think. There's some supply depots. Let's uh, land the starport. And the reactors. Start making reactors here. Saturate the gas. Get the Medivax going as soon as possible. Land the mule. Land the third base. Get the Medivax started as soon as possible. Uh, we to start making reactors out of this again. Let's just make some marines now. Wait for the gas for reactors. Okay, now I think we need to split. Because the way that uh, Protoss works is with the robot build, your blink is, is very late. So they have a very strong ground army at the frontal attack. But they don't have much for multitasking. So it's important to start multitasking a bit versus the Protoss that is opening up with a robot. That's what I'll try to do with the first uh, two anti-vax that I have. Let's try to set up a drop. And then attack at the front with the marines. I need to watch out because he probably has a couple of... Uh, couple of observers somewhere out there. Oh, it's the Celeste without charge. Okay, that's nice. Let's get an armory second eBay. I need to scan beforehand. Uh, I have two scans. No army here. No army here. Where is his army? Okay, we just go. We just go. He's completely exposed here. Let's go. Stim. Let's go. Get it. Okay, there's the Colossus. The back off. Go to the natural. We kill the third. That's really nice. Ah, oh, we got... We got the medivac. Okay, but we can kill some probes. He has a lot of gateways. Way more than I'm prepared to deal with. I think. I, does he have a fourth? He does. Okay, so let's cancel this. He lost a lot of probes there. He also has double Robo. 
Mm, double Robo is gonna mean that he's gonna have so many Colossus. Let's jump on this. I can trade some Marines. If I kill the Colossus, it's already good enough for me. Because I, I can replace these Marines much easier than he can replace the Colossus. Okay. We have only one Medivac here, so let's set up a drop. Just to get a fourth base as well. And a fifth base at the same time. I should have had the fourth base already done. Oh. He has a Zealot here. Save this, go in the middle of the map. Oh, go, go, he's gonna buy attacking. Okay, he's attacking. There's one Colossus here. Let's try to jump on it whenever there's a possibility. We can kill the Stalkers first. There's a Control Drop as well. Okay. He doesn't have that much economy. Remember, we killed a lot of probes. We killed two bases. So he cannot afford much. Let's kill the pylons in case he wants to produce more units. Set up the drop to the natural. Yeah, he's going to the fourth. That's fine. That's fine by me. We need to avoid this army at all costs, pretty much. Try to make a base raid scenario here. Because there's no way I can fight the two colossus like that. With a small army. So I just need to buy myself time. And counterattack as much as possible. Okay. That's nice. If he he might recall. Not sure if he has a recall available. Okay. Let's go. His main army is coming back now, it's here. He's here, so let's set up a surround for this Colossus. He's gonna make a Colossus out of this. So let's snipe that robot that's producing. He has only two Colossus here. If we get a surround on this, we can crush this army. Let's just wait for him to enter the natural base, and then we set up a big surround. Let's go. Now we're making sure that the Colossus are attacking the SCVs, not the Marines, because the Marines are the DPS. The SCVs are just there to tank the Tank the Colossus, and then we go this A move, stuttering forward versus the Colossus. GG! Ah, Alright, yeah, the level of play is getting more and more difficult for me. I need to step up my game because the games are getting close. The games are getting close, even though I'm like in 4.1k uh, MMR, but I am enjoying playing this challenge quite a lot because it's like limit, like I'm testing my limits as, a, as an off race with this challenge. I I'm really enjoying this. I'm really, really enjoying this so far. All right, these were the first game, especially was quite a long game. And we're gonna finish the episode on only two games. We finally got a Protoss this time, and a very cool loss uh, for me. I really don't mind losing the the first game because that shows the power of the Ultralisk. But I need to switch it up a little bit because uh, for now I've been winning versus the Ultralisk thanks to the multitasking. But this time I, I wasn't able to do that, so I need to improve something in my play. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Murray Medivac 2 Grandmaster. Let me know in the comment section how you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next episode of whatever I upload. Have a great rest of the day everybody. Take care. Bye bye.